Spike, come here, buddy. Sorry it's been so long. I felt like I needed to take a little bit of time off. It was sort of a forced time off because I was driving back from California, of course, and I could not find internet. And I also didn't have time to edit because we basically camped for seven days on our way home. We didn't really have internet or electric or facilities. A lot of times we drove until we decided to take a nap, woke up, drove until we decided to take a nap. It's that kind of road trip. Now that I'm back, I'm excited to get back into the shop. I still cannot talk specifically about what I went to California for, but... I went to California to work on a TV show, and the TV show involves making stuff. And I was on the show to help make stuff. But I will be on Ask This Old House. Ask This Old House season is going to start very soon if it didn't start already. I'm going to be on two episodes and as soon as I know those air dates I will absolutely let you know. I'm very proud of my performance on there. We had a lot of fun and so guys thank you for that. Looking forward to that. Spike? Come here Spike. As soon as I got back to New York, I jumped right into this new project. This is a plywood cart for the shop. Got lots of plywood. Hard to grab it when it's all laying flat against the wall. This way I can see what I got. This is a project that's going to be in Lincoln's ARC magazine. The video is actually posted right now to my Patreon with a voiceover version and a non-voiceover version, both on the Patreon. As soon as I get the blessing from Lincoln, I will post it to my channel. And the voiceover version will eventually be on the Lincoln Electric channel. So look forward to that. <laughs> So I'm going to Fabtech. At Fabtech in Chicago, I'm going to be there representing Lincoln. Fabtech is a show where they show off new equipment as far as metalworking is concerned, laser, plasma, welding, all that cool stuff is going to be there at Chicago. I think it's at the McCormick Center. It's November 6th to 9th. I'll be there. John Malecki is going to be there. Doug Retro Weld is going to be there. April Wilkerson is going to be there. Zach Herberholtz from ZH Fabrication. We're all getting together to build parts for this table. I'm making the top of the table and at the show I'm going to fabricate the base. The other guys are going to make chairs that are going to go around this table. I believe the whole thing will be raffled off. So if you guys come to Fabtech in Chicago, you might win a chance to get this table and all the chairs made by the other makers. <laughs> This vlog is from the last week when I was in LA, which is about two weeks ago, so that's why this is all old news, but it's new news to you. Spike, come here. Come here, buddy. While I was working on the show, one of the things I had to do was shape this tree stump. It's a little storyline. I don't know if it's going to get used in the show, but we got this tree stump and I had to shape it down and turn it into this other shape. Working with limited tools, I had to figure out how to shape this tree stump with just a hammer, a table saw, and a screw gun and some plywood. And I had to get all Izzy with it. Did I just say that? Inspired by my brother Izzy, Izzy Swan. I figured out how to use this table saw to shape this tree stump. point I had to also make a set of mid-century modern legs and the best way to do it again with the table saw inspired by our man Izzy Swan looking at the table saw is not just cutting wood but shaping wood
So while I was in LA, I hung out with Nick Offerman. Of course, Nick is a buddy of mine, and we went and visited his friend Jeff Perry, who owns Angel City Lumber. Jeff Perry, we're at Angel City Lumber. Can you tell me what you do here? So we take uh, trees from Los Angeles and Los Angeles County that would just, they come down naturally, and uh, instead of having them mulched up, we mill them up into slab lumber and dimensional boards, and we kill and dry them here, and then we sell them to the public. Right now, we've been getting shamal ash, and California sycamore is our biggest thing right now. The ones that grow here, specifically in the valley, grow really fast, so there's a lot of big growth rings. And you right, you don't get really tight grain. No, no baseball bats. No baseball bats out of that. Actually. But you can get some good furniture but it slabs. Is beautiful, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And just learning that there's some 500 or plus species of eucalyptus out here to think you have a handle on a number of them, and then you run into one, you're like, I have no, I have, I have no idea what that is. I mean, the natives are the coast live oak, California sycamore, California black walnut. Uh, the sycamore is pretty good once it's dry. The, the live oak, even when it's dry and you're milling up, it's still popping and moving. Yeah. Sure, it's pretty. We actually get a lot of redwood because people plant redwood in Southern California. As far as softwoods, we also get a lot of DDR cedar. We run a Lucas Mill 830 that we've been running. It's a 60 inch slabber bar. Mm -hmm. I'd say conservatively like an 8 inch dimension cut on the, on, the, uh, on the swing blade. Right. The CNC machine, is that like a subservice? If somebody bought a slab, you could surface it top and bottom if they wanted? Dude, if you buy a slab here, we'll surface it for you. It is great having something that can just make it perfectly parallel to yeah. the bottom. Yeah. And are you running a fly cutter on that? What kind of cutter are you cutting? Right now it's an inch and three quarter cutter. It's replaceable carbide tip. Yeah. Well, good luck, man. Yeah, I'm, thanks I'm so much. Nick, Nick brought us down here, so yeah, Nick, Nick uses you good. guys a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we're grateful for him. Right and uh, we're grateful to have you come down. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. All the wood from Angel City is recovered from Los Angeles and the surrounding suburbs. He's got a great supply. It's all kiln dried and a lot of it is fairly cheap, so go check it out. As an artist, it's always interesting to visit other people's workshops. Hanging out with Nick that one particular day, I got a chance to visit a friend of his named Randall Harrington, who is an artist, fabricator. He's helped some very famous artists get their shows launched. There was really beautiful artwork around the shop that I was very familiar with from other artists, and I got to see maquettes. What you're seeing here in this segment is all Randall's own personal art. Great to talk to him about the specifics of bronze casting, which is his specialty. Something that I'd like to try and break into one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the odds are pretty good. He said, I, I, "It's it's like there's one left. I've sold two already." So yeah, he, his building burned down. Oh shit! The foundry burned down while you were in the middle of this. Game. While I was in the middle of making this. So it's it, it's like two years late, you know. So, it was, you know. so anyways, so then. great to see the little nuances and all the little tchotchkes that an artist like myself would have, but a different artist and what they find inspiring and interesting just sitting around their shop. <laughs> a little shout out to my buddy Dave Burrell. He did a series of videos on making a CNC stopper for a chop saw. So you can just program in a number and it stops 
gives you the exact width of the piece of wood you want to cut. So check out that series, the link below. It's actually a pretty cool idea, so take a look. Look who finally came over here. Spike, say hi to everybody. Can you hear him purring? He purrs so loud. So I want to thank everybody for sticking with me for the last month. I'm dedicated to making some great videos, some new content. I got some really good stuff in the pipeline. And I'm going to hit it hard with the vlogs again. I just needed a little bit of a break. I appreciate it. So next week there's going to be a lot of stuff from our road trip in the vlog, including some stuff from this week. So Spike, you want to say goodbye? Spike's been spending a lot of time outside. At first I was worried, but he's doing great. He's running all around the yard. When we kept him in the house, he just sat in one spot for like 24 hours at a time. Now he's walking, he's gaining weight, he's eating rodents. He's doing good. Look at him. He's like the size of another human again. Say hi to everybody. Okay, go catch some rats. Thank you very much. See you next week.